Welcome back to another Mob Squad video. We got some stuff going on today, and we're gonna go ahead and talk about that and show uh, something new. So, I mean, you already know what it is, Honda, but yeah, we're gonna get into that here in a second. first if you watched last week's video you saw that we got the boost gauge installed um, still waiting on my gauge pod I don't know how long it's gonna be um, that company that's making it for me hasn't sent me any more emails we still need to get the wideband installed and the only problem with that right now is someone's got to weld the bung in for me so the original idea was that I was just gonna replace it I was just going to replace it and have it wired into the ECU, but after talking with my tuner, the uh, O2 sensor that I have on there, since it works pretty good, and it's going to work the exact same way, what I can do is just continue to use that and then put on the wideband just so that I can have a reading inside the car, which is all I'm going to use it for, and that's fine with me, so I'm going to get it uh, get the bung welded in sometime this week and then install it throughout the week too. I am also getting my first map on Hondata, which Hondata is the big, I guess, topic of discussion for today. Um, I'm getting my first map on Monday. I actually just talked with my tuner. So next week's video will be completely all about how it's performing. Uh, the benefits of Honda versus K Tuner, which I've already kind of talked about it. There, the biggest part is that there's just a lot more play, and from what I understand, is it's a lot easier. Sorry for the stupid freaking birds; they're so loud in the background. So, as far as I understand, it's a lot easier the software for, uh, from a tuning perspective, to use. The one thing that I do like about K Tuner, which seems to be why a lot of people get it, is the display screen it's pretty nice and it lets you put on like a bunch of different custom gauges on there so we've got all of this open down here still i didn't put anything back on because uh right there that piece was actually really hard to take out right in there so i left it out until we're ready to put in the wide band and we're going to run it just the same way back through there i believe power will come out of here or yeah, I think that's I think that's where power comes from because I know that it ties in with the ignition and all kinds of stuff. So pretty much all of this plastic up here is going to have to go and then get back on the car in some way or another, hopefully without it being broken. The fun part is going to be disconnecting those airbags. Now, I really actually have absolutely no clue how to disconnect them. I couldn't pull it away enough and I was actually a little bit scared to pull it too hard and it go off on its own which i'm pretty sure that's not how that works but for safety purposes whenever i do go to remove it i will disconnect the battery remove everything and then put the new one back in bada bing bada boom we should be good honda right here and this is a lot i wouldn't say nicer the one thing that i do like about it is once i get it hooked up i can put it back to sitting right down in there. I won't have to worry about looking at it all the time. Yeah, that's a mess down there. I know. I need to clean out my car a little bit. I won't have that anymore, which is going to be kind of sad. I don't know that I'm going to sell it. I'm kind of interested in keeping it, but an extra 500 bucks would be kind of nice to just, you know, sell this. But if you're interested, uh, go ahead and comment down below. The only other thing that I'm going to have to do come Monday, uh, once I do get everything going with Honda is I'm gonna have to install the EGR block off plate right away hopefully I will have the other one too Houston's supposed to be making it for me but he is out of town this weekend so uh, I'm not quite sure I also need to clean my car that's uh, where Houston had a bright idea I was gonna put more oil in my car and he said oh you can leave it on and then look at what happened it sprayed it everywhere so Always turn your car off before you put more oil in, unless you have a, a funnel, that might work too, but I just tried to dump it in there. Didn't work out so great. EGR right here, coming out. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I wonder if, uh, I'm sure that whole casing opens up, um, and then I can just cut it off and tape it. But 
you know, it's gonna be a real nice and hopefully easy going process, get it all switched over. But that's all we got going for today. I just thought I'd give you guys kind of an update of what is going on. Hopefully sometime in the near future, we're gonna start doing the engine swap on this car or at least a rebuild kit on the 305 that's in it. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, go buy some merch. Link is in the description. And if you're needing any tunes or tuning needs questions, don't ask me, I'm not an expert. I mean, you can ask me some things and I'll know it, but go to etunes.com. Just like that, e-tunes with the Z. If you put an S, it pulls you up to some dude that makes beats. So don't do that. Dot com. <laughs>